have you ever contemplated the idea of what your freedom was like 30 years ago and what it is today? How old was I 30 years ago? You were 20. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not sure I have ever contemplated that exact. Well, I, I want to tell you, a lot of Americans have, and I certainly have. And there's a marked change in this country from when I was 20 to now that I'm 62. And one of the problems with confidence, and the reason I asked you the question, is a lot of Americans are losing confidence because they're losing freedom. They're losing liberty. Um, I was really interested and in listened to uh, Senator Coburn. I wasn't going to focus on this as much, but he was talking about the concept of freedom, which is integral to our country and to our Constitution. And he was actually asking you just now, back 30 years ago, if you thought that we were more free. And I think it's a very hard question to answer and not one that necessarily is uh, one that you would expect in this hearing. But I was thinking back 30 years ago uh, was 1980. Uh, and in 1980, I just checked the top songs with Blondie, Call Me, uh, Queen, Another One Bites the Dust. I remember I was just starting to wear little bow ties and things like that. And then I was thinking about, were we really more free if you were a woman in 1980? Do you know, um, uh, Solicitor General, how many women were on the U.S. Supreme Court in 1980? Well, I, I, I guess zero. That would be correct. There were no women on the Supreme Court. Do you know how many women were sitting up here 30 years ago in 1980? No, it was very striking when Senator Feinstein said that she was one of two women, and I thought, how amazing. How, how, so how many? There were no women on the Judiciary Committee. In fact, no women um, were on the Judiciary Committee until after the Anita Hill hearings in uh, 1991. Do you know how many women were in the United States Senate in 1980, 30 years ago? I'm stumped again. No women were in the United States Senate. There had been women in the Senate before, uh, and then in 1981, uh, Senator Castlebaum joined the Senate. Uh, so as I think about that question about if people were more free in 1980, I think it's all in the eyes of the beholder.